Wanderers Football Park training centre for this club, home to a boutique game day ground. Melbourne City's title defence has not gone to plan, but a lockdown enforced break could be the catalyst for a late season surge. It's a bit of a loose one, youngster. Unfortunately, uh, they get away with it, looking for Johnson straight away, who kind of stopped her run a little. Yeoman Dahl missed the header, so Johnson can get the crossover. Chidiak! Oh, what a great save that is from Willisey. Great football. The Wanderers are a little bit exposed here. They're two centre-halves not particularly picking up. Melbourne City not playing with a designated striker. The wide player is free. Ball to Johnson was superb. Bicopas Brown with the free kick. It falls and it has rattled the woodwork again for Wanderers. It's not away yet. Well, it was a good contest between Henry and Johnson. A difficult to volley the ball coming over your shoulder and dropping like that. And the crossbar denying Olivia Price. A very impressive to start this game. And Johnson wins the ball back for City. Out to Palmer. Back inside. Kira, that's smart. Johnson is going to have to be quick to get it because Sarah Willisey is out. She's missed it totally. Big chance for City. Blocked off the line. Incredible defending from Wanderers. What a chance for Melbourne City. Sam Johnson with that shot. It's a beautiful ball through. What about this touch from Kira? That is superb. Not quite so this from Sarah Willisey. It's a haymaker completely. Mr. Q. And then off the line, I think it was Nikki Orgel. Missed out for And the checker has been very, very strong for Melbourne City tonight. Ekhoff beats Hunter and they're away here. The Norwegian bursting forward out to Dobson. Oh. Cooper, timely header. Hunter flicks it onto Collister and Wanderers can go the other way. Karnas is in an offside position, bends the run now. Collister just wants to go one on one with Checker. Does well, it falls for Lena, Lena Karnas and in off the post and Wanderers finally break the deadlock. End-to-end -end stuff here at Wonderland. And Lena Karmis off the bench. The youthful Wanderers started the match. And she has made her introduction and maybe, just maybe, keeps her finals hopes alive for her side. Well, it's been an exhilarating game. Hunter to Collister. Look at how Tegan Collister squares up Emma Checker. Runs straight at her to keep her off balance. And when she sensed the opportunity to get that half yard outside, she took it. It's fantastic attacking play from Collister. The ball inside, a, a little bit accidental and fortuitous in the end, but the lead up was what did it. And Lena Karmis denied it with the last kick against Brisbane Raw two weeks ago, has given her team the lead here with her first meaningful touch off the bench at Wonderland. Copus Brown looking over the top for Lena Karmis and coming out quickly needed to be was Micah it's still alive here Hunter's had a crack going back is Micah should just get there in time it might not have been on target but inventive from young Hunter Holly Dobson has come out onto this right side for Melbourne City instead it goes to the right side and the very impressive Tegan Collister this evening Copus Brown Oh, it falls for Karmas. Can she seal it? Lena Kawa, oh, what a save. I was just about to scream Lena Karmas' name, but T yeah, Tegan Micah has come up with something quite special. The brilliant ball in from Mados again. The timing of the run from Karmas in between defenders was perfect. The touch was good. The save from Tegan Micah, even better. Another look at the watch. Still we go on. Dobson attacking it, so was Yeoman Dale. No one won that contest. Halloway gets it out, and that ends the game. Western Sydney Wanderers with a massive three points. Their season very much alive, and now they have a couple of wins. They've got momentum. They've got a couple of teams above them looking over their shoulder. Big win for Western Sydney. Western Sydney Wanderers won. Melbourne City nil.